Okay, FAQ number 28. Why does the King James Version call the Holy Spirit it? I think it's like four places or something like this. And people get all worked up. Oh, this is such blasphemy that the Holy Spirit would be called it. Um, no, it's not. And to answer this, I'm actually going to show you some a little bit of a, a book here a friend of mine wrote. And um, he really does a good job on the Bible version issue. And it actually starts out here. This is, uh, let me show you here the copy of the, the cover of the book. It's just an update, right? The New King James Version with the satanic... Uh, Tricatra there of witchcraft. Now I'm actually what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to zoom in here to these pages and I'm just slowly going to pan down through them and you can pause it and you can read it in your own time uh, just for sake of time just to show you that the answers are out there. Uh, I don't want to, again, I don't want to appear to be the great guy that has all the answers. You know, some of the stuff you need to look up yourself. So here we go. You can just Pause this and read it in your spare time. You know, here you have the, the thing. It abode upon him. And the New King James says, he remained upon him. Okay. You know, it's funny because in right there, you know, the King James Bible says, it is I, myself, handle me. The New King James says, it is I, myself. So, uh, yeah, I thought they had a problem with using the word it. Kind of hypocritical. So, you know, Jesus is referred to as an it by numerous Bible versions that hypocritically declare they are superior to the King James Bible because they don't use the word it. Somebody is lying to you and it isn't me. That's correct. You know, again, there in the book of Revelation, as it was born, her child as soon as it was born. Same thing in the New King James Version. But they'll lie to you and say, oh, the King James is bad and we need to update it and whatever else. Over here. You know, there Jesus is called that holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. Let's see how much more we have here. You know, and it abode him, ab abode upon him. There's a whole lot of other uh, versions that that uh, agree or do similar phraseology, but you don't hear people ripping on those just on the King James Bible. Interesting. Yep, talking about the changing of comforter to helper. There. So, that's pretty much it there. He covers it very well. You can, like I said, pause that and read it if you want more information on that. Um, but, uh, yeah, it just, again, we have this whole situation where people will hypocritically take anything that they can, that they can find against the King James Bible, and they'll try to use it, and they'll try to make it into this big issue. And, you know, the King James Bible calls the Holy Spirit it, Therefore, reject the whole thing. It's not God's perfect word. And again, the argument comes then, okay, then what is God's perfect word? And they'll, you know, what translation can I read that is God's perfect word? Well, there is no translation. Oh, then uh, what's the perfect word of God? The Greek and the Hebrew. Okay, what edition of what text? And you'll eventually get these people back to the original autographs that don't exist and never did exist at, in a single volume. So, it, this whole Bible version debate back and forth, and I mean, a lot of this stuff I've studied years ago, and I have to confess to you, a lot of it I've forgotten a lot of the fine details of the argument because it gets so technical. 
you know, and it's just like, I studied it from both sides way back when, you know, over 10 years ago now. And it's just like, I got to a point where I thought, you know what, King James Bible is God's word. And I'm just going to believe it. And I'm going to read it. And I'm going to preach it. And that's what I'm going to spend my time on. And I'm not going to get into arguments with people because quite frankly, a lot of the arguments you can't win. You know why? Because they don't want answers to their questions. All they want are questions. Question, 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 question. If they can form enough questions, then they feel safe in rejecting the book. And that's the honest truth. That's why the people reject the King James Bible. I've chosen to walk by faith, to live by faith. And the answers are there. I mean, you know, books and books and books and books have been written to defend the King James Bible by scholars, by preachers, by, you know, I mean, the answers are there. The King James Bible is not some kind of, all the, the arguments for it are very flimsy. These arguments have been answered over and over and over and over again. I mean, it's, 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 it's so pathetic that these arguments are still being brought out, you know, but they just keep resurrecting them, the new version people. Why? Because they're trying to get you to reject authority. That's the reason. The movement of the new versions is satanic. It is against having a final authority in your hands. Don't believe me? Ask them. Ask them what their final authority is. Single final authority. You can't have, if you have two final authorities, then you're the final authority because you have to choose which one is right. Ask them what their perfect standard of final authority is. They don't have one other than themselves. <laughs>